Pelvic Pro can also be used as a straightforward exercise device and in terms of postural adjustment. So if you assess your patient and you see a lordosis, so if you see with Claire, we see a lordosis, so we get that rounding of the lumbar spine and you see a pelvic tilt of more than 30 degrees. So a good way of assessing this with your patient is you, t you take the, the short line or trouser line and take it just below the ASIS and just below the PSIS there okay and you can see this line okay and as you tilt forwards you can see that that gets more than 30 degrees okay if that's more than 30 degrees we've got an anterior uh, pelvic tilt there which would suggest more uh, a lordosis um, we've got hyper extension of the knees and we've got a slightly flexed hip okay so just come so take that in the hip slightly flex okay so that's that's a lordosis for the the lordosis posture remember we've got tight hip flexors here so we don't want claire overusing the hip flexors however she when she extends out the hip she will be eccentrically using these hip flexors. Now, there's some, a lot of good evidence out there that shows that eccentric muscle training lengthens muscle, and that's the effect we want to get within <coughs> the lordosis. Okay, so as the hip comes up, we don't want the hip flexors working here. So Claire will be doing this mainly with the hamstring. So can you just do normal speed using your hamstring at the back? Okay, and then coming out again, take five seconds going out. So that eccentric action, that lengthening action of the, the, the hip flexors is what we're after, okay? Because that stretches them out, that lengthens them out and takes them out into that furthest range, a range where they're not used to being. Okay, come back up, hamstrings, okay? Slowly, eccentric hip flexors.